Okay, so, oh, hi, I'm Sophia, <laughs> and um, this is my promotional campaign. Uh, my company name is a Prez Snow, and it means like after snow, because Prez means after in French, so like after snow, you're, you're cold, so you need these pan convectors. So just like heated blankets, you can stay like really warm in the winter with the touch of a button. So basically what it is, is that it's a cord. I don't have like an exact picture, because like all I would draw really was like a line. So it's basically like, um, there's like a little battery pack and then there's a cord that goes down like each side of your pants and then they kind of like, I don't know, warm up your legs. Yeah. Okay, so target audience for the demographics are um, older adults who really enjoy being outside, like working outside, maybe skiing or snowboarding or just doing like outdoor work. Um, it's uh, the psychographics are people who complain about the cold and then it's anywhere with like a slightly cold climate. Okay, so we have a profile paragraph for the target audience. So we have Tessa, and she's a wildlife ecologist, and her salary is 60000 a year. She lives in Vail, Colorado with her boyfriend in the mountains. Um, she's a skier. She has two Bernese mountain dogs. I know those need to be walked a lot, so she's probably going outside. Uh, she owns a Jeep Renegade, and she's brand loyal to Fall Raven and North Face. Uh, so for a secondary audience, I have teenagers who hate the cold or do outdoor activities. Um, <clears throat> kids who complain about having to go outside when it's freezing, uh, mostly when going to school and anywhere with a slightly cold climate once again. Okay, so for a secondary audience, we have Luke. He's a senior. He's 18. He lives in Minnesota. He likes snowboarding. He drives a Subaru, Subaru WRX. He's brand loyal to 686 and K2 snowboarding gear. Uh, so my logo and slogan. So with legs as warm <laughs> as ours, yours will never go cold. And this is my logo, so I kind of like bounce off the ideas from the Canada Goose logo because I know that they like, it's about like keeping people warm. So, um, and like the snowflake, it's, you're gonna be cold, so you need these. Okay, so for my print advertisement, I kind of, okay, I started off with the one in the mountains and I really was, like I really like how it looks, but it doesn't really show my product as well. And I know that other ones don't either, but it shows them more like in action because like, I don't know, it would literally just be like a cord wrapped up if I post it, if I, I mean, if I use a picture of it. So then I decided to use someone wearing the product, and then I didn't like how it said press on the bottom, because like, it didn't really need to be there, so I just threw it away. I like it better without it, too. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm it's sorry. just, because like, I already, I don't know, it says it in the logo, so I don't, I don't think it's yet. Okay, so for my press release, um, basically what I'm describing in it is, uh, there's going to be a pop-up shop at, May at Nordstrom in Mayfair for <clears throat> a month selling my products. Uh, and then it explains how um, it's like a higher-end brand, so it really matches with their product mix. And yeah. Okay, so for the social media campaign, um, all the social media accounts will have like the same theme, a lot of outdoorsy pictures with like blues, grays, and like hints of red, and so it like, matches with the logo. So first I made a Tumblr and I made this to really show like what trending looks are in the winter and showing like what outdoor activities people might be doing in these. Um, the plan is to have like two posts a day, one at 10 a.m., the other around eight. So, uh, and then looking at <clears throat> the analytics of when people go on Tumblr, uh, people are on Tumblr around 10.30 a.m. and right before bed at 8 p.m. And this is the Tumblr I made. So basically, it's just kind of like a little blog. Um, I'm not a customer, but I'm calling about that. <laughs> okay, I don't know how to put that away, but anyways. So this is like the blog, and then it says like it's fresh concept coming to keep you warm, and then uh, like wondering how to stay warm this winter, and then just like try a few pictures of people doing that. Well, it's like, well, Tumblr is like considered a blog. I, so like, it's kind of like a blog, but it's like a Tumblr, so. Okay. I don't know, cause like, I'm here if you were like, it, instead of like retweeting, it's called like reblogging something, so yeah. it's like. So did you create all those blogs? Well, like, I like, I posted all the pictures with the captions. They're not really like, um, it's not really like a, like a paragraph sort of thing. It's kind of more almost like a Twitter, I'd say, but it just puts it, like, I don't know, it looks a lot better on this, like, with, like, the background and everything, the way it's laid out. Can you tell us that one example of, of one of the posts? Yeah. Yeah. Let me just go back to it real quick. Okay. Okay, so, 
So I posted this picture of a girl like riding the bike in the city and it's obviously cold outside. So it says a price to no pan heaters will make any challenge doable. But then I right after I posted I decided to change it to change the name to like plant and bikers because like it <coughs> But then uh, and then I posted this one of a girl uh, from the city to the suburbs of Press Snow as you covered. Um, and then I also posted one of Gigi Hadid wearing like just pants and it said Gigi Hadid for Press Snow and then it says for more infor information and then I added like a little website but I didn't make a website so. But then it says coming to a Nordstrom near you in early September and then like all my social media posts I'm really trying to kind of um, have the hashtag of Press so. So that's my blog, or Tumblr. Okay, so for YouTube, um, I it's made to show promotional videos on your product. Uh, I have a sample video of like other like heated leggings, but like. So my video would show most likely uh, people like hiking in the snowy mountains, maybe like kayaking by iceberg, doing like really outdoorsy stuff, walking dogs. Or then it might show people, like, even just kids just playing in the snow, so they know that it's, like, you don't need to do something, like, crazy adventurous outside, you can just use them for playing in the snow. Um, so, the, so that video would be posted at any time, but um, I would normally share the video of the YouTube video on Facebook around 3.30 on Wednesdays, because that's the uh, um, most, like, viewed time. Okay, so then I also made a Twitter, and then it's made to create simple tweets to be sent out to followers, most, mostly reaching out ages 14 to 35. So um, there will be two tweets, two a day, one at 12 p.m., so lunchtime, and one at 5 p.m. At noon and 5 p.m. are the peak moments during workers' breaks and, like, after school time. So that's fun. That's fun. So then here's my Twitter. So, uh, one of my, I have five tweets, so one says, the press snow pain vectors are perfect for any condition, shows people kind of like hiking through the mountains, and then the hashtag press. And then this one says, <coughs> check out our press snow products at Nordstrom on Mayfair Mall on September 4th, because that's when our pop-up shop is opening. Uh, from high altitudes to low valleys, we got you covered. Check out our press release on our website for more information. Hashtag press. And then, oh, that's not mine. And then coming to a Nordstrom near you this fall, check out a press to know for more information on this product. Hashtag press. And then for our first tweet, said, hello Twitter, we are proud to announce our new brand of press to know. We've created a new innovative way to stay warm this winter. Hashtag press. And that is a picture that was also used in like our print ad. So, yeah. I mean, like, it's not really. I vividly remember the moment when I started seeing real success in my business. I had just. Whether you're in the field or on the ice, Kirby's heated clothing will keep you warm. The new core heat product line from Kirby's includes heated jackets, vests, gloves, and even heated seat cushions for your blind or tree stand, all powered by rechargeable lithium batteries. Kirby's core heat uses patented microwire heating technology to provide an intense heat output. Microwire heating technology is the most durable and efficient ever developed and comes with a lifetime warranty. To find out more about the world's warmest clothing, Kirby's heated clothing, log on to Kirby's.com. All right, so there's going to be a different technology. Yeah, it would. Style. Yeah, a totally different style. That'd probably be one of like our competitors, but um, their product is different. Like I'm just selling like a cord to go in like pants. Uh, they're selling like just clothing, like a jacket or dress. Um, okay, so Instagram. I was gonna make an Instagram, but it's blocked on the school like, Wi-Fi, so I can't make it. Uh, but so it's made to show like new products that the press knows to offer. Um, I post about like sales maybe or like other places to sell this product. Uh, I'd be. I'd have two posts a day. Uh, one at 8 a.m. and another 5 p.m. Mo uh, people mostly check their Instagram in the morning at school or after work around 5 p.m. And I would um, have probably the same posts as on my Tumblr. I was going to like post more on here, but I really want them to all be like the same. So if people really know, I don't know, I, I just feel like with too much going on, it's just too much going on. So yeah. Uh, does anyone have any questions? Okay, so you have Twitter, Instagram, Try 
to send it out to anyone in like the Milwaukee area almost because it's coming to Maker Mall. So. And then if you look at the rubric, it says at the end you want to summarize your part, your credit benefits as they relate to the target audience, and then reiterate your rationale for creating your credit purchase. Okay, so basically I created the product only because um, I created the product really because I like I okay I don't often go snowboarding, but I do every <laughs> once in a while. And um, I get like really cold, like I'm freezing. So I always thought that like it'd be nice to have something to like make myself warmer, I guess. And I don't know. So yeah. Um, but I really think that it'd be perfect for like the target audience because um, people. I feel like a lot of people working outside would also like them. And just like moms, even just like walking their dogs, would be really nice. So uh, yeah, the benefits of this product would really keep you warm. Um, it's kind of like a higher end brand, and it's different compared to other like heated clothing brands. So. so would you, in your product description, you said it takes about 20 minutes to heat up the pants. Yeah. So if you were walking out with your dog, you would just want to make sure that you plan ahead and start like heating. Yeah. Before yeah, otherwise, I mean like, it, that's when it's like fully heated. Excuse me. Uh, it's just like fully heated at that time, so like obviously it's still starting to warm up. So I mean, like I don't know. I feel like you get really cold after you're outside for a while. So yeah. So are they actually pants or they just like the cord? They're it's just the cord. Yeah. So you can put them in any pants. Yeah, any pants. Yes. So do. You? Oh. I forgot my question. Oh okay. Well, so do. <laughs> um, do you like put your pants on and then just like stick the cord down okay. your leg? Or? Well, the cord. Okay, the cord. Kind of. Yeah, actually. So the cord, it, like with leggings, you might want to like put it on, put it like kind of through before, because like it's kind of tighter. But they have like a like a thing at the bottom of them that would connect to the bottom of your pants, so like they wouldn't be just like moving around. You know what I mean? And then normally leggings or like any pants really have like pockets, so then you put that. It's really thin. <coughs> Questions?